Welcome back, friends. Peace and blessings to each and every one of you. A, uh, welcome to another edition. We're talking Pittsburgh Motor Mafia. Some helpful tips to keep you rolling this summer and throughout the winter as well. Uh, so a common problem that people have, especially when it comes to emissions parts, uh, it is a error code and a check engine light. And it usually has something to the effect of low pressure or it might even say gas will check gas cap. Or it most likely will say, once you get the scanner on and read it, it will say something like purge valve, uh, slow leak. And all that simply means is that, you know, you know with these emission systems, they get clogged, they get dirty, they get worn out like anything else. But that common code, and it's different for every car and a number, but it usually will say uh, purge valve. So the first thing you want to do is check your gas cap, because if you're not on, tightened all the way, sometimes something that simple will cause your check engine light to come on. However, I do have two vehicles that I'm doing the exact same problem. One is a Dodge Ram pickup truck. And the other is a Saab, my Saab, <clears throat> always nursing it back to a good, uh, good running condition. But So we check the gas cap, it's tight, we replace a lot of the uh, emission parts, and this is these are the last two pieces actually. We already put a brand new uh, coil, ignition coil, directed jet coil onto it, it's good to go. One PCB pipe is going to go on the, off the manifold, and then we're going to put this last piece, this purge valve, the all-important purge valve, and these can be... You know, anywhere from 30 to 100 bucks. It just depends on the car. And here's your purge valve. You get a look at that there. It's got your electrical connection there, and your two vacuum lines go in here, and you just fix it right back onto the side of the firewall, and your car will start reading the correct number of oxygen versus air temperature and all that good stuff that helps your car run great. So it's just that simple, folks. Um, you know, once you get somebody that can do it for you, or you take it to the shop. This is usually the problem. And again, it's not terribly expensive, but I like to keep my ignition parts running smoothly. So on my vehicles, I will periodically pull out the uh, sensors and I'll spray them down with either some uh, wire cleaner or some of these great AMS oil products. I, I like all the whole line of AMS oil products. I use them in all my vehicles and I also sell it. So if you're in the market for a good quality synthetic oil company that's been around since the 1960, AMS oil is a place to that you want to look and you want to check out hashtag Chaz wins or PittsburghMotorMafia.com or you can just call me 412-628-0344 if you have any questions at all or you can email me if you're a person that just likes to email I'll hit you with the hard solid facts about Amsoil products how much it's going to cost you how you I can get it to you quite easily actually through mail I can drop it off to you if you're in the local 412 and I promise you, these products right here are making my life simpler, and I love every moment of it. If you love your vehicles like I do, you're going to want to get at me on this one. So you can email chazwin, C-H-A-W-I-N-S, 38 at gmail.com. Check out the merch, pittsburghmotormafia.com. That's pittsburgh-motor-mafia.com. So that's where you can find me. I hope these tips help you out. Like I said, my goal is to keep you running smoothly, get out and drive, and enjoy Enjoy your driving uh, experience. Uh, that's all we got for you today. So we'll catch you next time. Peace.